Warren and Jill Harper were born into greyhound racing with both their families heavily involved in the sport. Both have achieved incredible success which has been their reward for hard work and dedication. Although Warren and Jill admit they are getting close to the stage where it's time to slow down, you get the impression that won't happen for some time yet. Okay, it's said you're a, a match of greyhound royalty. Warren, your father, Les Harper, he was a champion trainer. His dogs included a very smart chaser called Arkarula and a classy bitch, Jita. What are your early members, memories of, uh, of greyhound racing? Oh, gee. I can remember uh, probably when I was four or five years old, just dogs, dogs, dogs. It was just full on. Uh, he never had a lot of dogs, Dad, but he, uh, he always had good dogs. And yeah, I, I enjoyed it, but, but when it came time to go to work, he didn't want me to go to work. He wanted me to just stay there. <laughs> Now, Jill, your brother is Bruce Fletcher, and of course your father was Percy Fletcher, one of the legends of greyhound racing. Uh, so I guess you were introduced to the sport at an early age? Yes, um, well, you might as well say I was born into it. Um, I'm not sorry, because it's a terrific game. Now, you have the distinction of training a world record holder, uh, a smart stayer by the name of National Lee, who held the 800-yard world record, which is set at the old Harold Park track. Yes, uh, she was a great dog. You couldn't wish to get a better dog, you know. Most people in the dog game are in all their life and will never get a national league. Then come along Miyagi and when we, I've got to be honest, when we won the Association Cup, that was the race I always wanted to win. It was a terrific dog uh, to you, Omar. He sure was. He um, was worth getting out of bed in the morning, to <laughs> tell you the truth, when we had poor old dad. And, um, well, we bred him and that, and we had the mother here. and. That's the big thing about um, people laugh and I get so excited when we win a race, but um, when you breed them and do all the hard work and to see them win races, it's just a great thrill for us both. And of course, um, last year you had the New South Wales Brew Bitch of the Year as well, uh, Meredith Gray. Yeah, oh, that was terrific. Little sweetie, she's due to have some pups in a matter of days, to tell you the truth, and we got her off Bruce and Julie and um, well, she's part of the family, I've got to be honest. She's a beautiful girl. <laughs> now, more recent times, um, well, now you've got a, a couple of smart greyhounds, Mr Fordham and Thinkalot, uh, who were by Premier Fantasy for Mrs Trickett, who was a very handy race bitch. And she was well bred, of course, being by uh, Brett Lee from Tyre Game, Game Litter. Now, Mr Fordham's won uh, at Wentworth Park under 30 seconds, and Thinkalot has only had two starts. Uh, for a win. Uh, she's been injured but she's on the way back so um, there are a couple of handy dogs you have now. Yeah they are, you know they're um, I think little think a lot when she comes back she's not far behind Mr Ford and we both think that and um, well they've given us plenty of pleasure at the moment and hope it keeps going. Now you name Mr Fordham, um, you're a big fan of the TGB host Ben Fordham oh, and it, uh, he always gives the dog and the Greyhound racing the plug when uh, when he races. Yes, it's great. It's terrific. Um, no, it's funny. When he was about six weeks of age, I named him Ben. And um, then I always used to muck around and joke. I said, oh, we'll call this dog Fordham after Ben Fordham. And... Green light, buddy on its way. Here we go for race six. All set, ready. And racing, keep over, get okay near the centre, well away the fence, bite size of Mr Ford between them. Classic Blenders trying to work up on the outside and Kibos and Bother scribbles out the back in company there with uh, Ant Hill Mob heading into the back straight now. Mob but around the corner, Mr Fordham dashed well clear, Classic Blender in second place but Mr Fordham too good. Mr Fordham wins by six or seven lengths. Now you've both had uh, very long, successful careers in greyhound racing. Racing, obviously, you love the sport. Any plans of slowing down? Well, ask me. Don't ask me. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. It's been, uh, yeah, it's been a struggle probably for the last 15 years, I suppose. It's just can't do what I used to be able to do. <laughs> and there's only two of us. <laughs> And I, I've got to be honest, I honestly think we've got to slow down because just around the place keeping it tidy, it's seven days a week and
and when you do get out, you're always in a hurry to get home, and you get very tired at the end of the day, and mm. I've got it down, I still, I think we do have to cut down, but I'll put it to you this way, there'll always be a dog around, because I just love dogs, so. Bad luck, Juan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <well. laughs>